Hey guys, welcome to Life in a Bottle, Season 3, Episode 4. I'm Cody Foster, and this, my friends, is the 2018 Cantina Del Pino Barbera Superiore. 100% Barbera. This is made by the Vaca family in Barbaresco. Um, this might sound familiar because last year in December, we offered the family's flagship wine, the Cantina del Pino Barbaresco DOCG. Um, so you may know a little bit of the story here. Um, where are we? We're in Italy. We are in Piedmont. We are in the Longa Hills and we are in the village of Barbaresco. Although this, my friends, is not Barbaresco because Barbaresco must always be 100% Nebbiolo. This instead is a rare Barbera planted on Barbaresco soil. This, my friends, is kind of a unicorn. Um, so the Vaca family has just two rows of vines of Barbera planted in their Grand Cru Ovello. Ovello is usually a Barbaresco Grand Cru. Of course, um, while still Grand Cru soil, this is not Barbaresco being Barbera. Okay, you get it. Um, pretty, pretty unusual stuff. Um, so 85 years ago, longer now, Renato Vaca's dad planted Barbera um, just to have some to drink for the family, basically. We're talking two rows of vines. They make 186 cases a year. So minuscule production, I'm super, super psyched to be able to offer it to you. Um, this is organic in every sense of the word. Um, this family doesn't use herbicides or pesticides. Um, and what you get is a super wholesome pedigreed Barbera. Uh, so how about we taste the wine? On the nose, this is very bright, high-toned fruit. Um, I'm talking uh, lots of like black cherry, um, brambly, almost like wild strawberry. Um, definitely some of the dried cherry thing, um, some black fruit, some big black olive. Um, on the palate, more layers of fruit. And there's tannin, it's not loaded with tannin, but there's pretty good concentration, sappiness. Um, I like this wine a lot. Paired up with meat, I'm thinking like wild game. Um, rabbit or like wild boar. Um, how about a mushroom risotto? Um, and uh, truffles, this is a prime, prime truffle wine. This is the kind of wine that's actually made to go with truffles. So, um, you know, when they're in season, a couple of years from now, pull a bottle out and uh, just a little bit of truffles shaved up your favorite pasta. It's, it's gonna be great, people. On a more somber note, we were deeply saddened to learn about the passing of Renato Vaca this past April. Our only silver lining is that I know that he'll continue to live on through his Barberas and Barbarescos for many years to come. To Renato.